everybody, it's me, Ms. Sean from Early Learning and School Running Us, and of course, Play to Learn. So today I'm coming at you with a little more fun kitchen science, but also incorporating art. So what we have here is frozen water in a cup with food coloring. We like to call this popsicle painting. So here's a fun trick. If you don't have food coloring, but you do have some colored popsicles somewhere, this works with just colored popsicles that are frozen from your freezer. But if you do have some food coloring, <clears throat> this is a great way to do some color mixing, etc. And you can make your own paintbrushes by using oh, a popsicle stick and just some frozen colored ice. So we've made some cool colors. I've got kind of more of a pink, a red. This one's kind of a yellowy orange. We have a really pretty green color, a purple, and a really pretty blue color. It might be hard to see in the cups on the camera, but when we put it on paper, wow, let's check it out. Are you ready? All right. Whoop. Almost had an accident there. All right, so I have my paper. And here is what we are going to do. Make sure you lay, make sure you lay your paper out on the counter to protect your counters. You might even put some like newspaper down or something down on the table just to uh, protect it. And remember, it might stain your fingers a little bit and wear some play clothes just in case or a smock or something. All right, I'm going to start with my favorite color, which is blue. Are you ready? Let's see how it works. So we can, wow, look at that. I have some pretty blue paint homemade straight from my kitchen and my freezer. Now let's try this cool pink color. I'm just doing some squiggles and lines. And look, when my paint comes together, it also kind of creates a new color. Let's try this green color. Ooh, do you see that? I just did some drops as it's melting. So this is a ton of fun. Be nice on a nice hot day to be able to go outside and paint, but also your kiddos get the benefit of seeing a liquid turn into a solid, which is a great science experiment, creating colors using food colors and painting. So creating some art to go with their fun science experiment. So get in the kitchen, find things that you can make something new with, do some kitchen science, learn about liquids and solids, experiment and play with ice and how it feels, talk about what it looks like, what it feels like, the colors that you're making, color mix, and then create some art that you can hang on the refrigerator to look at for weeks to come. All right, so get out, spend some time together, have some fun, and always learn. Bye.